What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the top video games that I've played in 2018. Now, not everything on my list here are video games that came out in 2018. Some of them are a little bit older, but they are the games that I've played the most in 2018. So, let's get right into it. So up first is a game that did not come out in 2018, I believe it came out a few years ago, but in 2018 it became free with the PlayStation Plus on the PlayStation 4, and that's when I really started to play the game. Your character in the game is an African American man who just got back from the war and is trying to take down the mafia leaders in the town, I believe it is Louisiana, I might be wrong on that but it all in all is a fantastic game. The time period for the game is back in the 60s and you can really tell because they nailed it spot on. Everything from the guns, the vehicles, everything that goes on with the racism back then, they put in this game and you can really tell they tried to do everything they could to make it really feel like the 60s whenever you are playing the game. All in all, this was a fantastic game, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Next up is Call of Duty World War II. Now, for me, this was the best Call of Duty game in recent years. I know they've went more futuristic now, and they're kind of pushing that more and more. And for me, I am not a fan of the futuristic Call of Duties. So I might get some hate for this, but Call of Duty World War II might be the last Call of Duty game I ever purchase and play. Now the only exception for that would be if Call of Duty went more modern and they brought back some of the more modern aspects to it, or if they did release Call of Duty Ghost 2 because I was a fan of that game. I did like the aliens because in Call of Duty it was a big change up from their zombies because I am not a fan of Call of Duty zombies. But Call of Duty World War 2 was a fun game especially with the campaign mode and the online that's mainly all I played for it. Everything was the time frame of back in World War II, and I am a huge fan of history. I love everything about history. I love learning about the war. And for me, this game was pretty accurate with everything that was going on back then. You really had a feel for the campaign, especially of your characters, of what your characters had to do, everything that they needed to do in order to win. So it was pretty spot on, and definitely this is one of the top Call of Duty for the past recent years. Next up for me is WWE 2K18, and now this was a really fun game for me. A lot of things were new. They did add some more matches to it. They think this is the first year they had the eight-man matches, which I was really excited for. Now, the campaign story mode was very repetitive. You had to do the same thing in order. You had to do certain things in a certain way. If you lost a match, you'd have to keep replaying that match until you won it to advance to the next part of the story. So that's one thing that I didn't like so much. That's why I didn't move this higher up on my list. But all in all, this was a huge game for me. I did enjoy playing it and I did play it quite a bit. I mostly played universe mode because that's the biggest thing that I like playing. I like to create my own WWE universe, make my own champions, make my own rivalries and stuff like that. So it's really fun to do whenever you play like that. Next up is not a game that came out in 2018, and I believe it was nearing the end of 2017 when it came out for free on the PlayStation 4 for PlayStation Plus, and that is Life is Strange. Back whenever it was free for the PlayStation Plus, I did start to play it a little bit, but I didn't get very far, and I kind of just pushed it back and started playing other games, and I never quite finished it until 2018. I think this was around May. Whenever I became sick and was not able to go to work, I think that's whenever I started to play the game and I actually finished and platinumed the game. It was a lot of fun and it is one that I played the most because I knew there was a purpose. I did want to platinum the game and this game here is very easy to platinum. Next up for me is NHL 18. Now I usually get an NHL game not every year but usually every other year, every two years usually because the only thing that really gets updated for me that I really pay attention to is the roster which I do like the updated roster but it's not worth me getting the next game the next year. Whenever it comes to NHL, the two modes that I play the most are GM mode and my player mode. Now for my player mode for NHL 18, I think I'm on my fifth season. And for GM mode, I actually made my own franchise. I think it's the Hamilton Warriors. And with them, I think I'm on season 15 with the team, which is pretty amazing being in general manager mode. And I recently started a new GM mode just to start it and see how I do with the Vegas Golden Knights because there is a trophy on NHL 18 to win the Stanley Cup with the Vegas Golden Knights. 
So that's what I really wanted to do. The reason it is so high on my list for this year is because I've played it so freaking much. In total, between my player mode and GM mode, I'm over 20 seasons played. So that to me is why it's so high on my list. I really love hockey. I'm a huge fan of it. And I like picking and choosing and trading my players. That's why I go more for GM mode. The next one for me brings back my childhood. I was really happy with the first game, and that is South Park the Fractured Butt Hole. The one thing I really like about this game, it is a continuation from the first game, which is South Park Stick of Truth. They have advanced the game mechanics from the first game. The gameplay is so much better. It's not that the first game sucked, but the, they have definitely improved a lot more for it. The story is amazing. The fact that they capture even some of the small things from the TV show for South Park, they can capture that in the game. That's what really makes it for me like I'm reliving part of my childhood because I was a huge fan of the show growing up and I pick up on all the little small things that they say, all the little small things that they show. I remember those small parts being in episodes, even some of the early episodes. So all in all, I was really impressed with this game. The next one for me is Little Nightmares. I believe this one started for Steam or on the PC, I'm not sure which, but it eventually came out on the PS4. It's a game that I've wanted to play for so long, and I'm glad I did. I actually did a video series on my channel for it, I recommend checking it out. The last episode was Lost, so episode 11, it never came, so if you watch my gameplay, it never was finished. I never was able to finish the game, unfortunately, but for playing myself, I did finish the game, I just lost the last episode for my channel, but the game itself is amazing. It's so creative, and while playing the game, it doesn't give away the details of what exactly is going on, if your character is good or bad. At the end, it seems like your character is more bad, and everybody on the ship was good, but it lets you think of it how you want. You could think at the end, after finishing the game and living the experience, if it was like a nightmare or if your character was actually the bad guy. So it was very interesting. I recommend checking it out. It is a little bit spooky, but it's a lot of fun, very creative, and I really enjoyed it. And the last one on my list came out in March 2018, and that is Far Cry 5. This is the first Far Cry game I have played because it was coming back to America and it was about cults in America, everything, the racism, everything like that. That's what really caught my attention. The other thing is the wildlife in the game. I know it is a first person game and I'm not so much a fan of that, but the wildlife, going hunting, fishing, flying, doing crazy stuff like that, having trucks, being able to customize them a little bit. I wish there was more customization, but it was a lot of fun. The story was intense. The fact that there is three regions and you have to go and conquer them all before you can go to the cult leader was really fun. I have so far beat two regions. I plan on playing it a lot more, but I've played it so much in 2018. I just had to mention it on this list. So I have decided to add one more game to this year's top video games played, and that is Marvel's Spider-Man. Now, because this game came out in late 2018, I wasn't going to add it to this list. If anything, it was going to be added to next year's list, but this game here, I've had it less than three weeks. I bought it on Black Friday for 50% off and for the past three weeks I've been playing the crap out of it and I've actually beat and passed and finished the game and I've even platinumed the game. So to me this game was so amazing, so unique. The fact that it is all original storyline, they do bring aspects from the comic books and movies but they don't reproduce anything. Stan Lee even has a cameo in the game, which I was so amazed by, and I honestly love everything about this game. The characters are amazing, the story is amazing, the gameplay is phenomenal. I recommend this to everyone. To me, if you are a fan of Spider-Man, a fan of Marvel, or just really good storyline, you guys are really going to enjoy this game, so I recommend you at least checking it out if you haven't done so yet. This game was amazing, and it kept me invested along the whole way, and that's why, even though I've only had it for three weeks, that is the main reason why I was able to finish the game and platinum the game, because this game held my attention the whole time I played the game. That, in my opinion, this game is the top game that I played in 2018. So this has been my top video games played in 2018. So comment down below what would be the top video games you played in 2018. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll leave this video here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.